Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chris Chrome, and I'm here with Action Ration, and welcome to Doom! Yeah, we're back for more Demon Skull ripping testosterone zone gaming action bromandos. My name's Tom Sedator from Action Ration, and hanging out again with the Chris to the Chrome. How are you, man? I'm pretty cha. Yeah, pretty cha. That's the, that's the answer I like to hear. Alright, so today we're playing the game One Gun Survival by Bloody Ruddy. Bloody yeah. Ruddy. So what you do is from, as you can see the description, you get one gun and you choose it and then you battle endless hordes of hell. Plus a mini boss. Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon! Cha! Gotta catch a monster. Pokemon, it's you and me. I know what's up this thunder. Pokemon, try. Oh, you're my best friend, and I gotta choose a gun. Survival. Guns are definitely my best friend. Oh, we only got 20 seconds. Okay, oh, we gotta God. pick a gun. Oh, God. Seconds, really? Well, I'm definitely... Um, I, ch I, just choose, I just choose the biggest gun here. The BFG. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. I don't know which one. Shit. Uh, I'll have to go with my boy. Okay. All right. Oh, oh damn! God. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't grab the frick? armor. Oh, there you go. Oh, All right, we gotta survive, my man. Oh God! I already hate this. Character. What did you grab? Oh God! The biggest Don't gun. Die. I, the biggest gun I could get. The BFG. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a good one-shot kill gun, but it's slow as shit. It's perfect, man. All right. So let's see who will do the best in this competition. The BFG and Qua. Damn. Damn. Oh, damage. we both got it. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll, I'm a fan of that. Hey, what the hell's that? Oh, I turned into a demon. Hey, what's up, scumbag? Oh, uh, uh, demon? What? What happened to you? What happened to you? I. I won. I was the de I was the demon and I um Oh my god I was the demon and I fell in the lava and died. Oh that's classic death man. That's a real classic Mario Kart death there, bro. He grabbed the BFG again. Of course. What else am I gonna grab? I don't know. Yeah, man, I wanna be the rock from the Doom movie. You smell what the big cock rock is cooking. <laughs> You literally killed everyone on the whole map. That's the point. Like, Jesus shit. Mm. Yeah. So, how was your uh, your Comic-Con fucking Mega-Con thing and shit? It's garbage. You gotta tell me about it, man. It's garbage. It's garbage. garbage. No, nah, it, it, it was cool, man. It was, it was pretty cool. I'm about to release a, an updates video, which I'm sure will be out by the time this video comes out. And, uh, um... Yeah, it was cool, man. I didn't get to go to nearly as much as I would have liked, which sucks. Uh, I only got to go to a couple days. But while I was there, I mean, I mainly spent my time walking around on the floor as dressed up as Duke Nukem, like taking pictures, meeting with people if I could. And then uh, I saw a couple panels. I saw a Karate Kid panel, which was pretty cool. Uh, my cousin Alex, he went up there and asked Ralph Macchio what he thought about the new Karate Kid. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like, it, what's funny about it is, uh, yeah, Ralph Macchio, he's all like, Oh, well, I'm not really a reboots guy, but, uh, you know, of course I say that, and then we'll have Will Smith calling me up asking me if I want to be in it. <laughs> uh, my, definitely my highlight was definitely seeing Christopher Lloyd. God, that yeah, that guy is awesome, man. I mean, yeah, he's pretty cool. He's old now, so like, which actually kind of made it even funnier because I mean, just picture like, like everything you know about Christopher Lloyd, but then picture him like, you know, it's like Doc Brown, but he's actually senile now, um, <laughs> which isn't funny. But I mean, he's such a funny and he's such, like good guy that I mean, it 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 kind of it was pretty hilarious because uh, people would ask him questions and he wouldn't quite he'd just be like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like, he wouldn't quite get it the first time around, like, when they'd ask him and the, uh, the host, the Megacon host, he'd, like, have to explain it to him. They'd be like, oh, oh, okay. Oh. 
But uh, man, he had some hilarious answers, like stuff that people would ask him. Like somebody, somebody asked him, like, "What do you think is the most important lesson you've ever learned?" And he's like, "Oh, I, oh the most important lesson I've ever learned. I feel like I'm a, about to be crucified." <laughs> not, not to be crucified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tried to ask him about um, Clue, and like he just wanted to answer any questions about it. <laughs> like he like really did it. Like they asked him about Clue, and he's just like, "What Clue? I don't know Clue." Yeah, it was it was pretty funny. Um, they asked him like, "They're like, what is what was the best part about working on Clue?" And he was like, "Uh, Back to the Future no. 3? <laughs> What's Sunny? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that that was pretty funny. No, oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, he he was um, he gave one of the best panels I've I've ever seen. Which for a guy who's uh, you know, in his late seventies, is pretty cool. Yeah. But I mean, what else would you expect from a guy like that? He's like, always been awesome. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's cool, man. That's great. You had a good time. Yeah, no, oh, I definitely had a good time. I think um, the one thing that the thing that you know I did not like. Like, the thing I did not like was the uh, a lot of the really big panels, man. They're like extra paid events now. Really? Yeah. Which I mean, like, yeah, God, like, okay. I mean, I, I know some people. I know some people are going to go and they're going to pay to get into every big panel. But I'm just not going to do that, dude. Like. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm just not going to do it. You know, I I've got like bigger things to like worry about than like. Oh, I don't see Stanley for an extra $400. <laughs> like, Jesus. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's that much, but it's it's something outrageous. Uh, they had Frank Miller was there, actually, and his VIP package was $1,000, I think. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. I don't care. Well, that's how, the, well, that's how those uh, retired guys make their money, man. <laughs> right. You know, they did no more movies, so they got to charge a thousand dollars a panel. Pretty much, I'm paying for my rock star lifestyle. Yep. Wow. Wow. I'm... Well, that's cool, man. You had a great time. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was cool, man. I think next year, I definitely think I'll go. I'll try out a different con. Um, I've always gone to MegaCon, and uh, I've been going for about five years. Um, yeah. And the thing is, I watched it change a lot. Like, MegaCon used to be, you know, pretty small. I mean, Comic-Con was the big one. MegaCon was just another con. It just happened to be in Orlando, Florida. And yeah. it had a very... I mean, the smaller atmosphere is actually works really well for uh, kind of like, you know, a geek culture convention. I mean, obviously, the smaller the con, the smaller the names they can bring in, which isn't... Always, I mean, I, I like, you know, if it's somebody I recognize, I don't care if it was like a bit part in a movie. Uh, I just enjoy that smaller experience because you can, you can walk up to somebody and actually like, talk to them. Yeah, so you're like completely destroying everything in this fucking map. Yeah, are you, uh, it's every boring time, every for time. Every time there's like a boss, I'm like, oh shit, then you just somehow wipe them all out in one shot. Of course, man. Oh god, we got a. You already. You <laughs> three <laughs> barons of hell, and they're gone. In one shot. Yep. And they're like the second hardest enemy in this game. Yep. Right? Dude, the barons of hell are stupid, man. This is so uh. big. Big and clumsy. So I don't think this is actually going to get any harder. Probably not. That's what they get for giving us a BFG. With, I know they shouldn't have gave us a BFG. I mean, with unlimited ammo. Yeah, that that too. That too. Raw. 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 What's oh, that's up? Raw. 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 Raw, brother. Ah. Cha. I got so much health. Yeah. The, oh, but I'm probably gonna die. King but that's Kong okay. ain't got nothing on me. What are you gonna yeah. die for? I don't know, cause I got, I got, I don't got infinite health on this one. I can't heal either. Oh, that sucks. 
Well, that's okay. I mean, I don't really mind. I think I think we destroyed this level, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna say that this was uh, pretty pretty ridiculous. Ow! What? Ow! What the shit? Yeah. Ah. That's what I was saying. Oh, there they got me. They got you. Oh, Game crap. over. Victory! Def 514 <laughs> kills. Holy crap, man. They should have gone with the BFG. You're a fucking tank. Yeah. You're a fucking tank. Yeah, especially when you hand me a BFG with unlimited ammo. Challenge oh, complete. Shit. Well, if we just play that 500 times, I'll just, you know, keep racking up my score and uh, be like the best player at this game ever. All right, so what is this one? Okay, this is called Final Doom by Atomic Knight 117. A dark, difficult map with multiple areas and tough boss fights. You only have one life. Make it count. <sighs> Hey, so what did you think of my fucking so my first episode of what it's worth, man? What it was worth? What it's really worth? What it's really worth. It's really worth two cents because that's what you get. It. No, I'm just kidding. It's a horrible <laughs> thing to say. Um, no, it was awesome, man. I liked it. It was, it was cool. It's like I hope I hope you do more of that stuff, dude. And I hope it catches on. You know? Yeah. Every week. Every week. Every, every week. week. I'm gonna be doing it. That's cool. Yeah, for for my game of the week, like I said, this Thursday it's gonna be Homefront. And then uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles next week, and then One Piece the week after that. I got all planned out. But there's a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, is there? Yeah, that's yeah. It's it's fucking terrible. It's horrible. I, I bet. Oh man, you you'll you'll find out if you watch my review. You'll see you'll see why. I'll definitely watch your review. Like why the why the frick is Megan Fox April O'Neil? I you know, don't know. Not, we shouldn't even just talk. We should not even talk about it. What the crap happened? To you? you know why? It's because she was hot and he wanted that poo. Yeah, pretty sure. He's like, I want that poo. Like, Come over here and uh, wash my car on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> you heard about that really weird story, right? No, what the fuck is that? Yeah, it's like I think she got like fired. Like, I mean, it's it's just a rumor. Like, uh. When it was like she got like fired from, um, I think it was Transformers Three, for because uh, I guess she like said that Michael Bay was like harassing her, and uh. she said that he would like ask her to like come over on the weekends and wash his car in a bikini and stuff. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's true. Probably not, no. but that's fucking hilarious. It is pretty funny. <laughs> it's just she's like just not. It's just. Ah, oh, I mean, it's just like casting choices that are made to because they think they'll make the movie work, but they don't. It just kind of works against it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like what about Megan Fox makes you say April O'Neil? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. No, she's just hot. That's about That's it. That's just about it. Oh my God! Yeah, he scared the shit out of you, didn't he? Nah. <laughs> good thing I was hunting him down. Yeah, it's a good thing. You like watching my? You and me, man. We might as well be like Val Kilmer. Behind you! Oh my God! We're like Val Kilmer and uh, Michael Michael Douglas and uh, the Ghost of the Darkness, man. <laughs> Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. <laughs> hey, what's up, Michael Douglas? <laughs> <laughs> he probably punched you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's Douglas. Oh, uh, hey man, you say whatever you want to say, you know, it's all right. He's behind you, by the way. He's got chasing you down. Is he but... really? Yeah, I took him out, though. I got him. There you go. I snapped his little neck. Thanks. Can you smell Boom. what the Chris Chrome is cooking? Can you smell what the Chrome's cooking? <laughs> <sighs> ah, nice. It smells, it smells like that poo. Yeah, it's much, mm. much better than the one I saw. <laughs> but no, it's like it's, it's like you know I don't really have a problem with plastic surgery at all. Like um, yeah, here he comes again. Oh, we got a couple. Of them. Oh my god, they're all okay. I died. Uh -oh. oh, I'm down. Oh okay. shit. Yeah, they all spawned like right on me. Oh, I'm coming. I'm oh, coming. Oh, it's too late. It's, it's, no, it's never it's too, late. too late. Oh, I was right Defeat. there, dude. Okay, to be very fair, like three of them spawned on me right then. Yeah, there. they did, and I came, and I managed to actually bring down two, but you already died, and I'm like, shit, no one's chasing my ass down. But that was cool, that was a cool map. I didn't cool. mind that. Vote up. Yeah. 
All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to my channel, I'll put my logo on the screen so you can click on that. See what I'm all about. And I'll put the Thompsonators picture on the screen so you can click on it. See what he's all about. And check out his channel and subscribe and all that good stuff. So like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of our commentary and of Doom. And make sure to check out some of our other stuff too. You know you got to do and you know how to do it. Go outside and play. No, nobody wants to do that. Do it. Cha! Cha! You hit the fucking button. We have to go further in the map. Why? Well, because then there's harder enemies, and that's how we get out. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Punching in the back. I'm gonna give you a spinal tap that you'll never forget.